Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to use the distributive property to multiply factors. Now, oftentimes when you use the distributive property and you have factors involved, the distributive property often takes over, and you'll see how that's used very shortly. For example, if you have a factor of 3 and you multiply them by, let's just say, x plus 2, when you use the distributive property, you're just multiplying the factor by what's inside. So you have 3 times x, for example, that would be 3x. You have a plus, and then 3 times 2, that's going to give you 6. So if you, have a if you have a factor of 3 and you're distributing it to the other factor, x plus 2, this is what you have. Now the other example is if you have more than one term as the factor, for example, if you have x minus 3, and, you're, and that's the factor, and you're multiplying by another factor, x plus 2, you use the foiling method. So x times x, that's the first, that's going to be x squared. Outside, x times 2, that's positive 2x. The inside, negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And then the last term, negative 3 times 2, that's going to give you negative 6. Where you go from here is you combine your like terms. Positive 2x minus 3x is negative x. You leave the other terms as they are, but you have x squared minus x minus 6. So depending on how many factors you actually have, you end up using the, the distributive property in you know, the corresponding ways. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you use the distributive property to multiply factors.